Hi, I'm Kristen Ratliff, a Senior Project Director at WPS. I got to work alongside the author, Dr. Elizabeth Carroll Woolfolk, to do the testing and development for the CASEL II, the Comprehensive Assessment of Spoken Language, second edition. And we're also going to talk about the OPUS, which is the Oral Passage and Understanding Scale, also by Dr. Woolfolk. So let's take a look at these tests and what you get in them. The first thing you'll get in the sleeve that comes with the CASEL II box is the CASEL II manual. This is going to include all of the information you need for administering, scoring, and interpreting the test, as well as all of the reliability and validity information and psychometrics, and all of the normative scoring tables in the back. So that'll be everything you need for administering, as well as the record form that's going to come in a pack of 10. And these are the comprehensive record forms. These are for ages 3 to 21. So that covers the full age range of the test. If you just work with preschoolers, we do have a, um, a preschool record form that's for ages 3 to 6. And that includes about half of the tests for the ones that start from ages 5, 7, or 9 and on. Those won't be included in that test. The comprehensive record forms are in the test kit. So the record form has all of the information for all 14 tests, and these are listed by the language category that they're including. So there's the lexical semantic tests, the syntactic tests, the superlinguistic tests, and the pragmatic language test. So that's the four areas of language that the CASEL II covers. And these are, again, are for ages 3 to 21. Some of the ages uh, start points are a little bit later, depending on the skill level involved. And those will be listed on the front of the record form, so the specific age ranges for all the tests. But a really nice feature of the CASEL II is that all of these tests are individually normed and they can stand alone. So you can choose to give just one of the tests and get a standard score, or you can do a, a combination of tests within the language areas or expressive or receptive type tests or you can give a group of tests that can be used to give you a, a calculated index score. So we'll talk about those in a minute. With the record form, each of the tests will have the test items and the response sections, and then as well as the scoring section at the, bo at the ba back of the test where you can input the raw score calculated from the items that you administered. The administration follows basal and ceiling rules, so that gives you a start and stop point for how to uh, administer the items that will be best selected for the child, and you don't have to give all of the items included. Following all of the tests in the record form, you'll have a item analysis worksheet for each of the individual tests. That'll give you a lot of qualitative information about what each item is targeting and the parts of speech and the type of syntax involved and you can pull out any patterns that may be emerging in the types of errors that the child has. And then following that section you'll have a lot of the scoring for the index scores as well as test comparisons and this last page folds out which is really nice when you're doing the scoring instead of flipping back and forth to find the raw scores in the test book you can just transfer them right to this other side and that way you don't have to flip back and forth to do the scores. And then you can have all your raw scores here and start completing the worksheet as you need to do the scoring. Or you can go online. Our online evaluation system on our website has all of the scoring for free for the CASEL II. So it gives you all of the individual test scores, all of the possible index scores, all possible test comparisons, and all of the item analysis all in an output in a Word file that you can save or a PDF file. Also, on the back of the record form is a really handy guide for which tests that you want to give if you're going to calculate some of these index scores. And the type of index scores we have for the CASEL II is there's an overall general language ability index, the GLAI, and that's similar to the core composite from the original CASEL that gives you a good look about the overall spoken language abilities of the child. Then you have an expressive language index and a receptive language index, and those are gonna be for ages three to 21. And then you'll have a lexical semantic, uh, syntactic, and as well as a super linguistic index. And the first two will be available for three to 21. The super linguistic starts at age seven. The CASEL II comes with three test easels. We'll just take a look at one of them right now, but they all look similar to this. And each one of the test easels will be uh, based on the language that it's testing. So test easel one is going to include all of the tests for the lexical semantics. The test easel two will be all the syntactic tests. And test easel three is the super linguistic test and the pragmatic language test. 
And each of the easels comes with the tabs at the bottom that names the names of the tasks that you want to give. So you can just switch to the front there. That'll give you all the information for the instructions and examples for each of the tests. And then if you're going to be giving any tests that include pictures, on the examinee side, it'll show the picture. And the examiner side will have the test item as well as any scoring criteria, sample correct and incorrect responses, and any prompts that you may need to give based on their response. Right. So those are the three uh, test easels will be included in this larger box and the test uh, manual and record forms will be included in the sleeve. Let's talk about the OPUS, the Oral Passage and Understanding Scale. It was co-normed with the CASEL II okay. and they work really well together. So the CASEL II really isolates individual parts of language and tests those specifically, whereas the OPUS integrates all that information together. So you can see if things break down individually or if they work there in the CASEL II and you can compare that to how they work with the OPUS when you're really integrating this information. So it includes lexical semantic information, syntactic information, and some of this inference and superlinguistics that you'll get from the CASEL II. You'll use a test easel to administer the opus. And so that's going to be this similar to the Castle 2, but um, for each of the item sets, there'll be several passages included. So the item sets will be based on age range, and those are suggestions based on the age of the child. If you have a child that's above or below their ability level of their peers, you can give an earlier or later item set. Um, but each item set includes about six to eight passages. And all of this will be included in the test easel. Each of the passages you would read aloud, and then you ask a series of questions about the passage to the child. There are no pictures involved in this one, so all of the side of the examiner, uh, examinee side will be blank, and the examiner side will have all the information. And then following all the passages, there'll be specific uh, questions that you'll read aloud, as well as the sample correct and incorrect responses and any scoring criteria that you'll have. Also in the box for Opus, you'll have the Opus manual. This will have all of the information for administering, uh, scoring, and interpreting the test, as well as all of the psychometric information and all of the normative scoring tables in the back. And then along with the Opus manual and easel, you'll have a record form. And so this will have the scoring, you'll get the standard score that you can put on the front of the test. The item sets are going to be color coded within the record form. And then you can give the following uh, questions for each of the item sets are going to be included in the record form. At the end of this section of the record form, similar to the Castle 2, you'll have the item analysis section. And that'll break down with each individual item what the target of the item is, is pulling for. So you'll have lexical semantic information, syntax, and some of the different types of inferences that are made. And you can get a qualitative score about how the child is performing compared to their peers if they're in the top or sort of average or lower range for that. So that's a bit about the Castle 2 and the Opus. You can find a lot more information about these two tests on our website, which is wpspublish.com. And as I mentioned, you can get free scoring for both of these tests on our online evaluation system, which you can also find on our website. Thanks for watching.